Hello and happy Monday. Today we are painting a cute mini Polaroid landscape. I have taped my paper to my desk and uh, now I am dividing my paper into half or three fourth how, how much size whatever size you want to make make a painting I am going to apply a first one wash a water wash to the paper um, it helps to blend the color well so, so to start uh, we're going to start with a tallow blue pick up a tallow blue and swipe your brush from left to right now wash your brush after you apply the color wash your brush and blend the blue below for second color I am using uh, Alice and Crimson for for the sky we'll be using crimson and orange as a second and third color I am, have applied the color on the right and left leaving some white spaces in the middle so that there is a nice so that creates a good drama of the sky and now I am blending the blue below and and blending the red a little for the first layer we are using very light colors in watercolor I like to paint my in watercolor painting I like to paint it layer by layer this helps to give you a good clear picture of what you are painting sometimes you, you do not like the how the red or orange is going so you when you paint it light you still have some areas where you can change the color or add a little dark color after we are finished with the orange the sky on the side we'll paint a little mountain so since the whole sky is a little red and orange we are painting a sunset so my mountain will also be a little reddish or reddish bluish color and adjusting to that same thing I am painting my sea the sea is going to be a little dark sea so here I'm using uh, indigo and uh, mixed with a little tallow blue here and there so once you once you apply a layer of indigo blend it and let it semi dry and let's work on the sky again uh, I'm applying I'm gonna apply the second layer I'm applying some orange and uh, I'll just throw in the color right now and mixing it with some red bright red and for my sky to clear create those layers when you see the sunset sky where there's cloud there's always some layers of these clouds forming up in, in the sky so I've, I've applied them and I'm going to blend them after it's semi dry semi dry strokes are really important when you are painting sky and clouds uh, in, the sec in the next layer I am applying the second layer to the mountains with the same crimson color um, and uh, for now by this time I think my painting is already semi dried and I'm going to take some indigo and apply and create a horizon and create some strokes in my uh, in in the in the sea we are not going to add a lot of details to this painting because it's quite tiny so you don't need to add a lot of details that's the best thing about painting small miniature paintings watercolor paintings you can skip out on a lot of details so here I'm picking now I'm picking up some color to create a little white space between two strokes Th that gives you a little idea where you want to add a second layer of color the here so we will keep adding some colors like a very little layers of little colors on the mountain creating horizon we can throw a lot of uh, direct color or direct pigment 
on the first go but what happens is when you when you add a lot of color directly it does not it it doesn't look that fresh or as watercolor or natural as it should when you add layer by layer the painting create the, automatically you create a depth depth in the painting so for my mountains to create a little shadow on th the top i've added a little same indigo that i've used for the for my sea now since my the whole sky has dried i'm just doing a little brush work a little swipe and adding a little glaze this is called glazing when you take a new color same color but a fresh color and you apply it again and blend it it's called glazing this gives uh, this creates a warm warmth in your painting the the color that you want your painting to reflect like if you want a color if you're painting to have an orange or warm feeling you apply a orange or yellow glaze after you're done with your painting so adding a little bit detail here and there uh yeah keep watching till the end of the video as a ha as i finish the whole video and painting don't forget to subscribe us we post new videos every monday and friday and soon we'll be uh, posting a lot of calligraphy videos from wednesday onwards that's we start we start posting from november so stay around here uh, here i have applied a thalo blue and created a little shadow a little zigzaggy shadow in my on in the on the water and that's it it's done i don't need to add a lot of details i or anything to the painting i have already ripped down the part you can also add a little birds a little y shaped birds in the sky i forgot to add one so you can definitely do one that will look really nice a black or a gray birds i'm adding few more strokes after removing my masking tapes cuz i think you need a little dark strokes on the mountain on your sky in your sky and adding some details final touches where i feel i think i've missed out some colors that i want to highlight places where i highlight so your po polaroid is ready now i think we should write something yes and you can end you can write something in your polaroid and hang it up on a wall or on a notice board or give it to someone isn't it so sweet thank you for watching our video i hope you guys enjoyed it i've also i've listed all the materials in the caption below thanks and bye bye